all right uh so let's go ahead and wrap this up the this is all uh, for the first half or, or homework part one so transportation innovations so let's have a transportation really quickly steam engine changes everything right the steam engine uh produces energy by burning coal producing steam um and pressure buildup allows the movement of um of vehicles right so we see this first occur with the rocket the rocket was kind of the first railroad that was created and went a whopping speed of 28 miles per hour now 20 miles per hour might not be much to us um in the modern era but 20 miles per hour was 10 times faster than what a you know a person could walk or maybe about five times faster of what a horse can move in one day so 28 miles per hour was super super fast and of course this is called the rocket for that reason so railroads means you can speed up transportation right overland transportation uh so that means you can have people live in the especially the upper class uh live in the suburbs of a city take a train to move to the you know to commute to the city uh to the urban center where they would work and then at night they would take that train back home the railroads of course are very important in the westward expansion of the united states in the 1800s right the west is going to be conquered by the railroad and uh the western pacific states like california and oregon are going to be linked to all the eastern states on the atlantic side of the country through the railroad the russians are going to build their railroad as well called the trans-siberian railroad going across their entire country it is the longest railroad in the world so the point is that railroads increase the speed that people are traveling it allows more people to stay connected it also think about the the cost of goods being transported so if you can put uh goods on a railroad and then transport it across the country so that it can be loaded onto a ship that's docked in a port it's going to be much cheaper than having someone manually transport these goods over you know thousands of miles so the the not only is, is it the speed that people are traveling is going to increase but also the the cost of transportation is going to be reduced of transporting goods is going to be reduced as well uh, another big major uh important uh development is going to be the steamship and the steamship is going to use the same engine that the, the railroads use but they're going to put them on boats on ships and these ships are going to um be able to travel across the ocean and what's incredible about this is of course they're going to be traveling faster than any sail ship that has existed in history uh but they're also going to be traveling across the oceans regardless of the wind patterns in other words you don't need to worry about the monsoon winds or the ocean currents or any other wind or ocean current because you have an engine that can push and propel your ship in any direction you want so oceanic transportation oceanic trade is going to be faster and more efficient than ever before in history because of the steamship because of the steam engine because of industrialization and at the same time that this is happening the same time that this is happening um they're going to construct two or three major major um um major canals right let's see if i can show them to you so what are these canals that i'm looking at that i'm talking about so here we have a map of the world right now you can see it better so in all the world history um when the europeans wanted to go to asia right they would have to travel across africa right underneath africa the southern tip of africa to make their way into the indian ocean right india southeast asia and china 
in Japan, right? Likewise, if you wanted, wanted to go from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean, you would have to travel, you know, across or underneath South America. And these two voyages took a very long time. But by the late 1800s and early 1900s, two canals are going to change everything. The first of which is called the Suez Canal. It's right here in Egypt. Right, Egypt is right in this corner of Africa, northeast corner. And the Suez Canal is going to connect the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. And it's going to create a shortcut from Europe to the Indian Ocean without having to go around Africa. So that's going to be a major thing. So once you have the Suez Canal, you know, a ship can travel. In the past, it might take you six months. And that could take you two months. Right? In the past, it might take you a year before the steamship. And that could take you half that time. The same thing's going to happen down here. Right? Between Central America and South America and the country of Panama. Right? The United States is going to help build and therefore own a canal called the Panama Canal. And that Panama Canal is going to create another shortcut between the Atlantic and the Pacific. Just like this one created one between the Mediterranean and the Indian. So the Panama Canal, the Suez Canal, there's another one up here called the Erie Canal uh, that connects the Great Lakes to the Atlantic. Uh, all of these are going to create shortcuts that will speed up transportation, right? reduce the, the time and therefore the cost. Uh, and they're going to be major, 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 um, you know, important places to control, as we'll see in another chapter. All right, so that's it for this part. Thanks for watching. See you next time.